Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do a gun review on this airsoft pistol here. As all you can see, this is the Beast Beastie Desert Eagle from KWC uh, brand. So you can see the Desert Eagle here and uh, big mistake. <laughs> I was trying to rub off the um, black text here. Well, if I show you the gun like this, you can't f uh, really see the flaw. But here you see, I tried to rub off the uh, white text, the warning, ugly warning, and uh, failed. <laughs> so I end up uh, even getting the black coating off. And uh, so too bad. Yeah, I put some gun blue trying to match the black, but it failed again. So yeah, in the future, I need to spray paint this whole thing with the matte uh, matte black spray paint and here's the other side it looks like that well obviously after the first uh, deadly mistake I didn't repeat that so here it goes the nice marking okay so the gun here is uh, a gas blowback pistol it's not as powerful as it was advertised um, usually when you find this gun in the state they say it's about 400 FPS with the CO2 mag and that's not true. Um, well, even they claim to be 394 FPS on the box. When you chrono it, uh, it's about 300 to 320 FPS only with normal 0 0.20 gram BBs. And if you use heavier BBs like aluminum BBs, it would drop even more. So yeah, the gun itself is a good gun though. It's a fun and beastie gun. The here the slide is metal, the um, barrel is metal, okay, the inside is pretty nice and sturdy. And also the Canadian version here comes with a, an uh, orange tip, so it's very, 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 very easy to remove. Took me about two minutes to take it off, and you don't need that for Canadian, of course. The hammer here is metal, the trigger is metal. And uh, yeah, basically all the all the parts of metal except for the lower receiver, the lower frame. So that is from here, the bottom here, okay, all the way down the the uh, grip. The whole grip is plastic, and uh, the grip here, the plastic on the grip, you can see that close up is textured. Also with the um, uh, the the licensed uh, logo. And yeah, everything is pretty realistic. Even the trigger here is very uh, realistic too. Because it's a blowback pistol, the trigger is further back as compared to the Umarex, um, Umarex pellet gun uh, of the Desert Eagle model. Uh, that one, the trigger is further out and uh, the blowback is not a true blowback. This one is a true blowback pistol and uh, the trigger is at the right spot. You see here when I pull the slide, very strong recoil spring inside, two recoil spring, and uh, that's how it looks inside. If I push the mag out, it looks like that. You can see through it, just like a real deal. Very cool, eh? <clears throat> here you can adjust the hop up right here, okay, this thingy. Uh, it's inside, sorry, not the nozzle, it's inside. This, uh, you can adjust the hop up right here, this side, okay? And of course here you see there's the rail, which nobody will use for a sight. <laughs> and then, there we go. The um, gun, okay, the, the recoil is very strong and the kick is strong. As you can see, the uh, just by releasing the slide, you can see how my hand already shake. See, it already give it a push. It's very, very tough. See? Okay. And also, um, I don't suggest uh, like people to disassemble the gun, feel strip it, and so on. If you're not familiar with this kind of pistol, because um, the first time when you try to disassemble it, okay, you will run into some difficulties uh, when you take it off, and when you want to slide it back, uh, you will be kind of confused. So um, even though, uh, even you can put it back, okay, you will see that there is a tiny screw inside here that is supposed to stick out a tiny bit so that it can wrap the slide and wrap the hammer, stuff like that. 
And if you don't know how to put that thing back into the right position and uh, unscrew that screw to the right length, then you won't be able to put it back or it will not cock the gun properly. Okay, so a demonstration of the blowback here. Okay, now I'm running on a green gas magazine. See? Okay, green gas um, is weaker in uh, power, okay, because the pressure is uh, much less lower. Okay, it's much, much lower. But then the mag itself, it's a full black, full size black magazine. It looks much more realistic than the CO2 mag with a hole there. And also, the green gas, okay, you can inject as many gas as you want to shoot for that session and you don't need to finish the whole CO2. Whereas with a CO2 magazine, a CO2 magazine, you have to put a 12 gram CO2 inside and then you put it in the gun, okay? And you shoot and the CO2 uh, will start to be consumed and until you finish the whole CO2 then you have to uh, take out the CO2 bulb and so on. If you leave the CO2 inside the mag for, for a long time, like a month or so, it will not be so good for the CO's. So, good thing about the green gas is I can inject a tiny bit of gas just for about like 10 shots or so. After I have my fun, then I can put the gun away without worrying about uh, the gas inside and so on. Also, a tip here is that Green gas magazine, including all green gas magazines uh, in airsoft, they are best to be stored with some gas inside. So after you're done emptying the mag, inject about two to three seconds into the magazine and it will keep the uh, rubbers and everything sealed and uh, kind of pressurized inside the mag to preserve the mag and prevent it from leaking. So that's the tip that I learned from the air softers. And also here you can see this is the mag release right here. It slides out the mag smoothly. Very cool gun. And um, yeah, so this gun can fire it in semi-auto and full auto. See, full auto like this. Okay, full auto. You see, and then semi and safe. Okay, now you guys all wanna see how it looks in full auto. and we will be using some green gas to demonstrate that. Okay, King's Arms green gas, it's pretty good. Cheap, for Canadian it's cheaper. So, yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten seconds. Now I'll be shooting some four autos and let you see how it looks. Uh, okay. Let's see. Ready. Green gas. You see? With green gas, okay, the blowback is not that strong. Okay, should we run out of gas already? Okay, now you see the blowback with the green gas and the sound uh, is much, much, much quieter with green gas. With CO2 magazine, you need Allen wrench, which uh, it came with, and then you put the Allen wrench here and you unscrew that thing, which pushes the CO2 in. And now we need a CO2 bulb. Here we'll be using Gamble brand CO2. Okay. So you put the CO2 inside like so. Like this. And you screw that on. Screw that inside. Okay. There we go. Sometimes these magazines will Will um will be weaker. Sometimes it's stronger. Okay. 
Good. I got two steel to my eggs. Okay, I bought one extra. And one of them uh, kick and shoot weaker than the other one. Okay, this one here is the one that shoots harder with a louder bang, louder uh, blowback, and more power. So let's take a look at how beasty it is with steel to make, okay? Let's look. You see? See? Very crispy, loud kick. With green gas, you don't get that kind of power. See? The green gas fuel feels much, much, much weaker. Uh, and and uh, with CO2, it's harder kicking, harder hitting, and it's way more fun. But give and take, you know, for casual shooting, I will prefer green gas for um, like for a game or for something more serious or like if you want to break things, CO2. Today we'll be shooting a gun together with CO2 and, and uh, we'll be shooting 0 0.30 gram aluminum BBs. So let's take a look, we'll load up the gun and we'll shoot some target together. Let's go. So everyone, we'll be shooting this whiskey bottle, you see? We'll try to break this bottle with the um, Desert Eagle. Now here is the mag. You can see our mag is loaded with aluminum BBs. It's shiny. And usually, you know, airsoft guns, they are always uh, about plastic BBs. Not this kind. Okay, let me see if I can focus that. Yeah, see, you see? Okay, shiny, eh? 6mm aluminum BBs. Okay. Now I loaded the gun up and we have to bag the thing first. Okay, let's try. Now, here we go. See, whiskey. And also we will test it on a soup can. Uh, let me find a soup can. This one. Okay. Place it up here. Okay. So everyone will be shooting this together. And in case some of you will be thinking, eh, maybe that's another gun that you'll be using and so on. So here we'll show you by, okay, I'll hold this thing with one hand and we'll be doing a close up shooting together like this. Oops, zoom out please. Okay, good. Okay, let's see if it will break. Okay, see? That's where you go. Okay, so I, I just took three shots. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Holy shit. Okay, guys. Let me put the gun down. Point that to a safe direction. Oh, crap. Okay, beware of broken glass. Okay, it gave it a nice huge dent, but didn't go through. Did it break the bottle? I have no idea. Let's see. Or did I aim well? Okay, the bottle is shot and shattered. You can see that the bottle is broken. Okay. Is it broken? Wait a second. Actually, no, it's not. Okay, I felt that there's a few shots here. Okay, let's shoot this one right here. See if we can break it. We must break the bottle today. That's not an option. Okay, let's try again. Okay, everyone, see, that's our eagle. Damn it. It got to break. Ah! Crap! Okay. It's neither that the desert you go is not strong enough or the thing is too strong. Okay. Now we got to bring the helper of desert you go. Who is the helper today? Just to nuke this bastard out. Okay. 
Hey guys. Hello everyone. So today we will have a cheap BB gun. <laughs> Just to break it. Broken. Okay, this is a 4.5 mm uh, Spirit and Western crappy BB gun. About five, uh, 50 bucks. There we go. It's broken. Woohoo! Okay. Proven that to break glass bottle, the Desert Eagle doesn't work, but a cheap BB gun does. Okay. Now let's continue on the can up there. Okay. No more. I uh, just emptied 18 shots all together. Let's see what it does. Uh, it didn't break through the can, but it gave it a nice dent. Almost cracked it. Okay, very well done. Okay, overall, the kick, the power, everything, I'm happy with it. Let's go for some target shooting. Hello everyone, so here you see the penny on the right side as a uh, little reference and we'll zoom into the f this target. You see it's very very small bullseye and we're going to shoot at 15 feet to test the desert eagle out. Now we're going to shoot with aluminum BBs again. Let's try. Semi auto. Aluminum BBs. Okay, I just emptied 10 shots. As you can see, it grouped pretty well. Now let's go for full auto. And for full auto, it will be kind of crazy, so just pay attention, we'll zoom out. Okay, full auto. Okay, there we go. I just emptied the whole... Ooh. See? No ammo. Okay. Let's take a look. With uh, full auto, you can see there are flyers, so not preferred. Very dangerous if uh, you're using aluminum BBs. You see? With all auto, it shoots right up here, some here, everywhere. But with semi auto, it's acceptable. The groupings here with 10 shots, pretty nice. So, yeah. Not bad, eh? <laughs> okay, very fun gun to shoot. And. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.